Great memory it is. Oh my gosh, just the most spectacular thing I've ever seen in my life. On April 8th, 2024, the world stood in awe as a rare celestial event unfolded. The solar eclipse of a lifetime. Little did they know that something sinister lurked in the shadows. As the world stood in awe of the cosmic spectacle above, something that would send shivers down their spines and leave an indelible mark on their memories. What gripping event unfolded during the recent total eclipse? Join us on this captivating adventure as we unravel the terrifying event that happened during the solar eclipse on April 8, 2024. A momentous total solar eclipse took place, earning the title, The Great North American Eclipse. This extraordinary event covered parts of Mexico, the United States, and Canada, with a temporary cloak of darkness during the daytime. Astronomers and enthusiasts alike were filled with anticipation and excitement as they awaited this celestial show. However, experts were also busy issuing important safety precautions to ensure everyone enjoyed the event safely. The eclipse, caused by the moon positioning itself perfectly between the earth and the sun, created a surreal scene, transforming daylight into a strange twilight. Beginning its journey in Mexico around 11.07 a.m. PDT, the eclipse then moved across the continent, reaching the Pacific coast, and crossing into Texas around 1.27 p.m. CDT. The path of totality, where the sun was completely obscured, sliced through various states such as Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, and others. Each location experienced varying durations of totality as the eclipse made its way across the continent, captivating observers with its breathtaking display. Folks in Nazas, Durango, Mexico, and Cavill in Fredericksburg, Texas had a real treat. They got to experience about five minutes of complete darkness during the total solar eclipse. Although everyone in North America saw at least a bit of the eclipse, only those within a narrow 100 to 125 mile wide stretch got to witness the full show. This rare event attracted millions of eclipse fans to the best spots along the path. Cities, towns, and even remote areas geared up for a flood of visitors eager to soak in the eerie darkness. As excitement grew, officials worked hard to handle the challenges that came with such a massive influx of people. Authorities issued warnings and advisories to tackle the potential problems. One big concern was the expected traffic jams. With so many eclipse enthusiasts hitting the roads to reach the narrow path of totality, highways and streets faced the risk of getting jam-packed. This was a big worry especially in rural areas where the infrastructure isn't as advanced. In these places, it's common to have narrow two-lane highways. The sudden flood of cars caused traffic jams, making it hard for ambulances and other emergency vehicles to get through quickly in case of emergencies. Thankfully, state and local authorities had advised everyone to plan ahead. They suggested stocking up on important stuff like food, water, gas, and medicines before the eclipse. This way, people wouldn't need to make last-minute trips, which could lead to shortages at local stores not used to handling such a sudden rush. In Lorain County, Ohio, officials warned that the extra demand during the eclipse led to food and gas shortages. Besides worrying about traffic, they were also concerned about the pressure on emergency services in hospitals. Large crowds often mean more accidents and medical issues, which could overwhelm rural hospitals and clinics. To handle this, some places took proactive steps by sending extra medical staff and resources to key spots along the eclipse path. They wanted to be ready for any emergencies that might come up. Another big concern was communication, with so many people trying to call, text, and post on social media about the eclipse all at once, cell towers got overloaded. 
This posed a problem not just for folks trying to keep in touch with family and friends, but also for reaching emergency services if needed. Schools in the path of the eclipse faced a tough choice. Stay open or close for the day. While the eclipse was a great chance for learning, they had to think about keeping students safe and dealing with the logistics. Many schools decided to close, worried about the traffic jams and the risk of kids hurting their eyes by looking at the eclipse without proper protection. By closing, officials hoped to ease the pressure on local services and make sure kids could watch the eclipse safely with their families. Even pet owners got some advice for the eclipse. The sudden darkness might make animals act strangely, like getting more anxious or confused. Experts recommended keeping pets indoors during the eclipse and making sure they have a cozy spot to relax if they feel uneasy. Pet owners were also advised to stock up on pet food and medicine beforehand because the increased traffic and crowds might make it hard to get to the store. As April 8th got closer, officials worked really hard to get their communities ready for the challenges of the Great North American Eclipse. They warned people about what to expect and advised them to make sure everyone stayed safe and had a good time watching the amazing event. Officials hoped that by planning carefully, working together, and keeping everyone informed, they could make sure the eclipse was a special memory for everyone who saw it. So, if you were getting ready for the Great North American Eclipse of 2024, it was important to listen to the advice from officials and get ready accordingly. Mm -hmm. Thanks to these careful measures, people could fully relish the extraordinary cosmic event without feeling anxious or worried. One of the most fascinating sights during the eclipse was the solar prominences. These are huge structures made of glowing plasma gracefully curving above the sun's surface. As the moon perfectly blocked the sun's bright disk against the sun's corona, they appeared as dark pink towers and loops reaching far into space. The visibility and behavior of these prominences are linked to the solar cycle, which is about an 11-year pattern of the sun's magnetic activity. As we neared the peak of this cycle, known as the solar maximum, the sun's magnetic field became more active and complex. This increased activity meant more frequent and larger prominences, making the eclipse an amazing time to see them. The heightened magnetic activity also led to more sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections, adding to the dynamic nature of our star. Observing these prominences during an eclipse isn't just visually stunning. It also helps scientists understand the sun's magnetic field and its interactions with solar plasma. By studying these structures, scientists learn more about the processes behind solar activity and its effects on the broader heliosphere. For those watching the eclipse, seeing the prominences was like catching a glimpse of the intricate and stunning events happening in our sun's outer atmosphere. During the total solar eclipse, some observers got the special chance to see one of the sun's most incredible events, coronal mass ejections, CMEs. These massive bursts of magnetic field and plasma shot out from the sun's corona, sending billions of tons of solar material hurtling into space at super-fast speeds. CMEs aren't just amazing to look at, they also play a big role in shaping space weather, which can affect things like satellite operations, communication, and power systems on Earth. Sometimes these eruptions look like giant, twisted spirals high up in the solar atmosphere. If a CME happens right before or during a brief period of totality during an eclipse, people with a clear view can get to see it, which is a rare and breathtaking sight. These eruptions could last for hours, but because they move slowly, they seem to stay still during the April 8th eclipse. This meant that people in different spots along the path of totality could see different stages of the same CME, giving them a special view of how these solar explosions worked. 
Apart from coronal mass ejections, there was also a chance to see solar flares, which are powerful bursts of radiation from the sun's surface. They give off all kinds of electromagnetic radiation, from radio waves to gamma rays, and can reach Earth in just eight minutes. While it isn't very likely to see a solar flare during the eclipse, they are closely linked to CMEs and prominences, adding another layer of excitement to the solar show. Solar flares are ranked by how intense they are, with X-class flares being the strongest. Even though three X-class flares were seen in just one week in February, the odds of seeing one during the short time of totality were low. However, the chance of catching one of these intense bursts of solar energy, even though they were just for a moment, showed how dynamic and unpredictable our sun can be. The relationship between CMEs and solar flares is a big part of space weather, which can have a big impact on our technological stuff on Earth. Seeing these events during the eclipse wasn't just visually stunning, it also gave us valuable insights into what makes the sun tick. Knowing how CMEs and solar flares behave is really important for predicting space weather and lessening their impact on our planet. During the total solar eclipse, when the moon completely covered the sun, astronomers and sky watchers faced a tricky challenge. The short time of totality when the sun's bright disk was hidden gave a rare chance to see the sun's corona and other cool stuff. But because the eclipse was so short, catching quick solar events like CMEs and solar flares needed perfect timing and teamwork. To tackle this challenge and get more time to observe, scientists came up with some clever ideas. One of these was the Citizen Continental America Telescopic Eclipse, or CATE 2024 project, this big project aimed to get a continuous, super detailed view of the sun's corona by getting lots of observers with special cameras and telescopes all across the continent. By taking pictures of the corona from different spots, they could piece together a more complete picture of what was happening. The Kate 2024 project has a big goal to make a 60-minute movie of the corona in polarized light. This movie would give us amazing new insights into the sun's outer atmosphere. It was super important to watch the eclipse safely. Even though it was safe to look at the corona without special glasses during totality, the moments before and after that phase needed caution. Experts recommended the use of proper solar eclipse glasses or telescopes with solar filters to protect the eyes from the sun's harmful rays. As the eclipse got closer, it was really important to teach people about using the right gear to watch it safely. People were super excited for the 2024 total solar eclipse, not just because they got to see the stunning corona, but also because it might lead to cool new scientific discoveries. Amateur astronomers, citizen scientists, and pros were all working together to understand more about the sun's complex and ever-changing nature. By collecting and studying data from the eclipse, scientists hoped to learn more about how the sun works and how it affects space weather. Both the Great North American Eclipse of 2024 and the Great American Eclipse of 2017 were total solar eclipses visible from the United States. However, some key differences made the recent 2024 event even more special and highly fascinating to astronomers, eclipse enthusiasts, and casual observers alike. One major difference between the two eclipses was the timing in relation to the solar cycle. The sun goes through an 11-year cycle of activity with periods of high and low activity. During the 2017 eclipse, the sun was heading towards its low activity phase, known as solar minimum. This meant there were fewer solar flares and coronal mass ejections. While viewers still got to see the stunning corona, the sun's activity was relatively calm with most of the light streamers confined to the equatorial regions.
In contrast, the 2024 eclipse occurred during the sun's high activity phase, known as solar maximum. During this time, the sun's magnetic field becomes more complex and turbulent. This increased activity meant that the corona appeared brighter and more spectacular, with streamers likely visible throughout. There was also a better chance of seeing prominences, those bright pink loops of plasma emanating from the sun's surface. If lucky, observers might even have caught a glimpse of a coronal mass ejection, a massive burst of solar material. Another significant difference was the apparent size of the moon. The moon's orbit around Earth isn't perfectly circular, so its distance from our planet changes over time. During the 2017 eclipse, the moon was a bit farther away from Earth compared to the 2024 event. This closer proximity in 2024 meant the moon appeared about 5.5% larger than average, resulting in a longer period of totality. In 2017, the longest period of totality lasted for 2 minutes and 42 seconds near Carbondale, Illinois. However, during the 2024 eclipse, totality lasted up to an impressive 4 minutes and 28 seconds near the Mexican town of Nazas, Durango, and the nearby city of Torian. Many locations across the United States and Canada experience totality lasting well over three minutes, with some areas enjoying more than four minutes of daytime darkness. The extended period of totality during the 2024 eclipse gave sky watchers more time to fully immerse themselves in the breathtaking celestial show. This longer duration allowed them to truly appreciate the awe-inspiring event. Another notable difference between the 2024 and 2017 eclipses was the Path of Totality. The Path of Totality for the 2017 eclipse ranged from about 62 to 71 miles wide, but the 2024 eclipse path was much wider, spanning between 108 and 122 miles. This broader path meant that a larger portion of the continent Continent fell within the zone of totality, making it accessible to more people. In 2017, approximately 12 million Americans lived within the path of totality, with an additional 150 million people residing within 200 miles of the path. However, for the 2024 eclipse, an estimated 31.6 million people already lived within the path of totality, not including the countless visitors who flocked to prime viewing spots. The path of the eclipse crossed through 13 U.S. states, including major cities like Dallas, Texas, and Cleveland, Ohio, as well as numerous smaller towns and communities. This increased accessibility meant that more individuals had the chance to witness the unparalleled beauty and wonder of a total solar eclipse without having to travel long distances. Additionally, the trajectory of the 2024 eclipse differed from the 2017 event. While both eclipses crossed the United States from coast to coast, the 2024 path of totality began in Mexico passed through the central United States, and ended in Canada's maritime provinces. This unique path offered an opportunity for international cooperation and celebration as three nations came together to witness this rare celestial phenomenon. Moreover, the path of the 2024 eclipse intersected with that of the 2017 eclipse in southern Illinois near the city of Carbondale, this intersection, known as the Eclipse Crossroads, covered an area of approximately 9,000 square miles. It offered observers a rare chance to witness two total solar eclipses within just seven years. Cities like Carbondale, Illinois, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and Paducah, Kentucky, were right in the middle of this celestial phenomenon, attracting astronomy enthusiasts from all over the globe. 
Additionally, the 2024 eclipse stood out from its predecessor in terms of scientific research and public engagement. Since the 2017 eclipse, advancements in technology and the launch of new solar observing spacecraft such as NASA's Parker Solar Probe and the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter provided scientists with groundbreaking insights into the sun's behavior and structure. These missions worked alongside ground-based observations during the 2024 eclipse. Furthermore, the 2017 eclipse sparked increased public interest in astronomy and science education. Building on this momentum, organizations and educational institutions planned extensive outreach programs, workshops, and events leading up to the 2024 eclipse. These initiatives aim to involve students, educators, and the general public in the thrill of scientific discovery and to inspire the next generation of scientists and eclipse enthusiasts. As the great North American eclipse of 2024 approached, the excitement continued to grow. The unique combination of factors, including the sun's heightened activity, the moon's apparent larger size, the longer duration of totality, and the broader, more accessible path, made this eclipse an event not to be missed for millions of people across North America. For centuries, solar eclipses have fascinated people, stirring feelings of wonder, fear, and curiosity. These amazing events happen when the moon moves between the Earth and the sun, casting its shadow on our planet and creating a spectacular show in the sky. This alignment of the sun, moon, and Earth has profoundly impacted human history and continues to inspire scientific exploration. Understanding the science behind solar eclipses reveals a fascinating dance of celestial mechanics and fortunate cosmic occurrences. To witness a solar eclipse, the moon must be in its new phase, perfectly positioned to block the sun. However, because of the moon's tilted orbit, these eclipses don't occur every month, but rather in seasons, approximately every six months when the moon's orbit intersects with the Earth's orbital plane. The type of solar eclipse experience depends on how perfectly aligned the Sun, Moon, and Earth are. Total solar eclipses happen when the Moon completely covers the Sun, casting a shadow on Earth. Annular eclipses occur when the Moon is farthest from Earth, creating a ring of fire around the Sun. Partial eclipses occur when the alignment is imperfect.